Good day YouTube, today I'm going to do a short video to respond very quickly to Zor's claim that they are the most prolific AAA game studio after making an MMO that's the equivalent of more than 10 single player games. Now this is some tooting of their own horn and since I basically lack the articulation to respond critically and proficiently at this, I will turn to Reddit where I will compile some of the responses that resonate with what I'm thinking and my initial reactions after reading this claim. Okay, so on to the first response. The Redditor here says, Yeah, they made 10 games worth of repetitive, uninspired slop. Congratulations. Yep, hit the nail on the head for me. I totally agree with this. Another one sounds a bit cocky. Quantity isn't quality. I wish I could enjoy TSO, but I have never managed to get past the bootleg Skyrim vibe. Bootleg Skyrim, let this term stick because essentially a lot of ESO actually feels like it's trying to imitate the last successful title that Bethesda has released but actually does end up looking more like a bootleg shallow version of it. Particularly the single player quest. Next one, it sucks but it's a matter of perspective. The alternative is a monthly sub, blah blah blah. Yeah, I kind of agree with this because the alternatives is where you have to sub and pay money every month to pay. But the advantage of ESO is that you pay a one-time thing and if you don't subscribe to Plus, essentially you get the game to play for the rest of your life, right? But I think it's pretty pathetic if that is the best thing that you can boost about your own game by saying that it is not subscriber based and you have to pay a monthly subscription. That is the only thing we have over our competitors. Don't really think it sounds that great. On to the next one. I played for the exploration and questing expect. It's pretty good if you ignore all the rest. And then the response is like you have to really like Elder Scrolls for that as the exploration and the questing are terrible compared to any single player RPG. I mean just go and play Cyberpunk. Enough said. Alright. Yeah, most of the storylines are not even good. Yep, I, I have no love for all the PvE storylines. No matter how good some people think they are, it's basically just go to point A, fetch this thing, go to point B, bring the thing that you fetch to give to this guy who doesn't need it and then you go to point C to go and kill someone. And it goes on and on. It's pretty linear, right? So, so essentially, yeah, to summarize this, storylines are not good. Gameplay is typical, nothing brilliant. It is just being able to explore some of the other areas of Tamrel in which you are not able to do so in the previous Bethesda games. Bootleg Skyrim vibe, naf said. ESO literally has nothing, it has as much depth as a kiddie pool. When I first played it, it was so unremarkable, I don't remember the basics of anything I chose. Ten most boring by the numbers RPG you've ever played. They've got the volume of content, yes, but they haven't figured out how to make it fun to play. When was the last time you remember a title after Greymore? I think Greymore is good, and I like Somerset for the looks, but everything after that, right, the, the Blackwood and the Hard Owls, essentially they're just mediocre and repetitive. And remember the community had a lot to complain about the expansion packs after that. Just because the MMORPG industry was incapable of releasing more yeah, so ESO is basically, Zoss is basically like a factory and they could churn out stuff faster than some of the other MMOs out there. It doesn't mean that they are the most prolific, it doesn't mean that they, they produce the most quality over quantity. One of the most egregious examples of Inventor Pro, yeah, the monetization aspect of the game still comes to bug people even though the game basically you don't have to pay per month but the craft bag and other shameless things that they sell on the crown store is essentially a pain in the ass for a lot of people so just to round this video up i think there's a lot of chest thumping on zor's site um, to say that they are really doing churning out really good stuff but i think the community or at least a significant portion of the community backs to differ what do you have to say about this as usual leave a comment leave a like and subscribe if you wish to i see you guys in the next video pardon the rain in the background it's always raining in southeast asia all right bye